before? No. Have I seen this? Yeah. <laughs> no, I have not seen that before. Yeah, I've seen it on street signs and, and, and around, and I have not thought very much about it. Yeah, really? on Wad at the old American print store. I mean, I feel like I've seen similar iconography graffitied about. What do you think that means? Sleep inside of the TV. Um, um, oh my god, what? <laughs> You go and watch TV and you fall asleep. Maybe sleep is just there for the aesthetic purpose of having the word sleep there. A logo for like a company or something. The TV is to be like a like a drug. Something political probably. I haven't had a television in 30 years, but to me it's turned it off. Okay, so do you know what that is? Do I know what this is? Yes. <laughs> I do. I, I did create this, this design. My name is Sleep. I'm a street artist, sticker artist, conceptual artist. I just call it the Sleep TV. These were things that were on my mind and it's been probably about 10 years since I first had this image in my head. Nice trick is to throw on this safety vest. And when people see you, they just assume you're doing something official. A lot of people have their own interpretations of it. And so I don't really want to explain it, but it does mean something to me. Sometimes I share that, but not today. And that's it. That's our mission. Why do you like stop signs so much? They're, they're all over the place. There's lots of room. Like the back of a stop sign is unutilized space. I pay taxes. I feel like I have just as much a right to be there as the stop sign does in the first place. Almost always steer clear of private property because I'm not trying to piss anybody off. A lot of communities or hip areas have been made hip by murals, stickers, street art. Those things activate an area and they make it a fun place to be. Do you feel like people are watching you? Sometimes. Uh, I don't know, I mean, people are so distracted with their phones these days, it's kind of a blessing. I'm careful about, about who I meet or, or who I reveal my, my identity as sleep to. You know, there's legal reasons I don't want to have trouble with the police or something like that. But yeah, I mean, I guess the anonymity is just kind of a fun piece of it. As I grow and want to expand the possibilities, that's something I'm having to reevaluate is how anonymous do I want to be? Um, do I want to stay anonymous? These are things. These are we interrupt this program to bring you an important announcement. You always want to pocket your sticker backings, don't litter. Pardon the interruption. Now back to your regular program. And I'd seen these stickers everywhere and I was like, you know what, I kind of want to take one. And I noticed one on a telephone pole that was like peeling off a little bit. So I like carefully peeled it off and I put it on my phone and I kept writing. <laughs> and now it's on my laptop. Oh, it's actually right here. What's this one? That's the first one I grabbed. I got these stickers when I bought the pin from him. Yeah, this is this one. He started selling them on his Instagram a while back. And uh, yeah, so I decided to buy one. I sort of support your local artists. That's kind of one of the things I've, I've always appreciated. I, I know I don't sell or, make or produce any art. Like I, I don't have time, but I, I'm sure if I did, like I'd really appreciate it if people would support my art if they, if they like it so much. You know, if I'm grabbing these things off the street, I feel, I feel like I'm stealing them almost. Uh -huh. um, so sort of my way of just like 
Hey, I really like this. Thanks. I don't know. Is there anything that you would like to tell him? <laughs> I don't know. I guess keep doing what you're doing. And um, if you have any tips to start, you know, with people wanting to start their own decal or their own design or street art, that would be much appreciated. <laughs> The first thing I would say is you gotta start with an image of some sort, some idea. But if you're an artist, then you probably already have something to, to work with. And then like getting stickers is as easy as placing an order. Like a, a lot of people will get started with the, uh, the priority mail labels at the post office because they're free and you can just draw on them. So it's, it's, really, it's really easy to get started with. And that's, uh, that's one of the things that is so appealing or awesome about street art is you can just do it. it says the only magic I still believe in is love. Uh, and I love this spot. I love that the city lets it run. I, I am gonna do a temporary uh, modification to this because um, I have an idea. Artists using psychedelics is nothing new. I do a, a small dose of psilocybin mushrooms a couple times a week. That kind of just helps to energize, like physically energize my body, um, and also to stay focused on projects for longer periods of time. So I, I found an enormous benefit. Get a picture while it, while it exists, because this may not last uh, longer than today. You never know. And like we've talked about before, Street art is ephemeral and any, anytime you put something out there, you're, uh, you're kind of letting go of it. That's awesome. And, and we got our, our first picture uh, by a, a passerby of the, the modified spot. I mean, I never expected to get feedback at all. I just thought if somebody sees a sticker on the street, it's gonna be personal to them and they're never gonna be able to tell me what they think. Back when Flickr was more than what it is now, I saw a picture of my sticker and I thought, like I just got like a rush from it. And they probably didn't even offer any thoughts about what, what it meant. It was just like, here's what I saw. And I was so stoked on that and it, it made me excited to see more pictures and it made me excited to put more stuff on the street for people to see. I've started and stopped so many projects in my life, um, had different hobbies or interests, and this is the one thing that has lasted the longest, and I'm more excited about it now than I was in the beginning, and my excitement and my enthusiasm for it just keeps growing. And if the cop came now, I'd peel it off like I was cleaning up. <laughs>